fish, yo. Motherfucking gay fish, gay fish. I'm a fish, yo. Fucking on a gay fish. It's alright, girl. Make it love the other gay fish, gay fish. Look, I'm such a smart guy because I built my house across a pond full of grimers. So now I have to swim to get to my house every single day. What's up everyone? Welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver. I was just trying to point out how that guy there, that old man, built his house across a pond with a fence surrounding it. So now he has to swim across a pond full of grimers every time he wants to get to his own house. That's a really smart guy there. Anyway, let's go and get to the stuff that we're doing today, and by stuff I mean going through the cycling road. But before that, we're going to be stopped by the cyber police here who says we can't really go through here without a bike. So, I guess we'll get on our bike and go to Route 16, otherwise known as the cycling road, and it starts right here. Except it starts out on Route 17, but the sign is on Route 16 for some reason. But, uh, let's put that apart once again and fight this guy here. And he's gonna have a cute little gulpin. Big buff guys with dreads have cute little Pokemon. Yeah, you're gonna be noticing a lot of that in this route, but uh, pretty much the cycling road is just a bunch of biker people with Pokemon. Just like any other route. And this guy's gonna have two Magmars. But most of these buff guys here are gonna have poison and fire type Pokemon, so I'm just gonna use this whole route here to level up my Heifer's power. This guy's gonna have a Magmar. Tentacle Rape! Please, please don't rape me. I beg of you, please don't rape me. Rape me, okay. Or grape me. What would graping someone mean? I think that is an actual word. I'm gonna go look that up. It might be something really horrible, but uh, vroom vroom, very 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 That's a very bad engine imitation. And this guy's gonna have a Teddy Ursa and a Meryl. Seriously? So yeah, you know, just big buff guys with uh, dreadlocks and tattoos and big bikes and stuff just having cute little gulpins and teddy ursas I guess but you know I guess uh, we're gonna trade phone numbers and be besties with this guy we're gonna be BFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFFF
and a Charmeleon. Yeah, I guess these guys are all just Team Rocket rejects. I mean, they all have, like, the wheezings and coughings because they apply to be grunts, but they all got rejected. Um, we... we let's get off our bike. Whoa, no! Cyber Police doesn't let us. Hey, you. Yeah, you can't, you can't. Y you have to be on your bicycle, man, you know? I'm gonna arrest you for that, but... We're out of the cycling road, but there's actually two more trainers, and they're the people that use the flying-type Pokemon. I don't know what they're called. Okay, they're bird keepers with Doduos, and more Doduos, and three-headed Doduos. Oh wait, that was a Dodrio, wasn't it? Yep, I thought it was a three-headed Doduo, but it was actually a Dodrio because they're very different. But there's one more guy, and he's gonna have a knock tower. And that was all the trainers from Celadon over to Fuchsia on the side of the cycling road, I guess. So here we are in Fuchsia City, and as you can see, it actually looks pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I like the whole design of the, uh, whatever color this is, the kind of red colored thing, but if you guys remember, Koga was the gym leader back then, but now he's got his daughter replacing him because he's in the Elite Four now. Um, I guess that's kind of a reddish wine kind of color, and this guy, or this girl, I don't know why I'm confusing people's genders now, but this is Bill's sister. Wait, my grandpa is at my- okay, yeah, this is Bill's sister. Um, whatever. MILF! And down here is actually something pretty cool, and it's one of those little things that they put into the game that just make it look so much better. And it's just this, there's big construction guys, they're not really big, but there's construction guys, and there's like that little- um, barrier thing doesn't let you go by, but I don't know, I just really think they look cool. I don't know why that's just me, but I think the little barrier thing looks really cool. Um, but yeah. There's the Pokemon Center, here's the old Warden's home. Uh, yup, but it's not actually the Warden, it's just this lady here, this girl. Uh, this is the granddaughter of the Warden. The Warden actually closed down the Safari Zone, he's actually, it's back in whatever city it was at. Yeah, we actually visited that place already, so you guys know where it is. It's in the island, whose name I forgot. Might be the Lost Island, maybe. But uh, this place has been closed down. It's actually going to be replaced by the Pal Park eventually, which you guys will notice. But for now, it's closed for something, I guess. Um, but yeah, I guess that's all there is in Fuchsia City. There's not really much to see, just the Pokemon Mart. Um, no more Safari Zone, so there is actually literally nothing to do here except for the gym. And, uh, that's pretty much all, so... You know, I could go over to this route, I guess we'll get started on it. It's actually a very long route, as I'm about to show you guys. Route 15 is actually four different routes connected, but they make up possibly the longest route with trainers in any Pokemon game. There's Route 15 right there. There's 14 right there, there's 13 and 12, getting you back all the way to Lavender Town. And if you noticed, um, a bunch of the towns that I've already visited before are now gray. Um, that's because I'm using my friend's save file again, but yeah, let's fight you. Voltorb, more Voltorb, and Magnemites, and also Magneton. And that wraps up that kid there. Huh, wraps up. That wasn't a pun, but... I don't know why I found that humorous. Let's battle! So this kid's gonna have a Zatu, and that's it for that Tommy kid. Um, speaking of the Voltorb we just fought, have you guys seen the new, uh, black and white Pokemon? I'm asking you, like, you can actually respond directly, but, you know, you're watching a video, you can't really respond like that. But, if you have seen the new black and white Pokemon, you may have noticed the little mushroom thing that looks like a Pokeball. I don't know, it looks really weird, kind of funny too, but fine, interrupt me with your Spindas and Volbeats. But yeah, I just gave up on the move Amnesia, and I guess, you know, it's the new Voltor, pretty much. Um... If you haven't seen all the new Pokemon, I guess you can go to, you know, all the good websites like Cerebi and Pokebeach and not watch some lame person's video about it because I'm not making one. So, you know, you don't have to watch my video because I'm not lame. Maybe. Possibly. Please don't think I'm lame. Whipping Bells. I said Whipping Bell. That's weird because Victory Bell has a whip and maybe it whips people with it. Oh, God. That just brought up so many sick fantasies. But that was it for that kid with his Whipping Bells. Um... But yeah, pretty much if you want to check those out, they're on Cerebi, Poke Beach. I guess I'm sponsoring their sites now, but that's okay. Um, there's a bunch of new ones actually, not just the Pokeball Mushroom, but that's one of the more curious ones that I saw. I mean, it looked really weird. I guess it's going to be the new Voltorb, and I guess this lady wants to fight us too. I'm just taking on random trainers, but I'm not actually doing the whole route now. And she's going to have a Clefairy. I have never seen that trainer class before. I think that's the only lady with that trainer class. Um, might not be, but wow, I tried to avoid the two little girls and I still get, like, you know, 
Cock blocked. By an old lady with a spinda. And an Illumise. She must be related to that other Pokemon fan guy. I mean, they both had spinda first and then Bulby and Illumise. And I'm ignoring my mom again because she's annoying. And here's a PP up. And I guess that's it for today, guys. Um, yeah, so if you want to check out those new Pokemon, just go to those sites I mentioned. And that's pretty much it. Next time, we'll be taking on the Fuchsia City Gym. So I'm going to head over there quickly. Um, and after that, we'll be doing those routes that I just did incomplete. Because they're very long and annoying. So I'm just going to go heal up and I'll see you guys next time for the gym.